Hello, I'm Samantha Holguin, one of the museum associates from the OSU Museum of Art. Today, I would like to look at a piece by Brummett Echo Hawk titled The Creek Council Tree, created in 1967. This artwork is a part of the OSU Museum of Art's permanent collection. Brummett Echo Hawk was an Oklahoma native and a member of the Pawnee Nation. He was born in Pawnee, Oklahoma in 1922. His family has a long tradition in the military, as his grandfather fought in the Indian Wars in the mid-1800s, and Echo Hawk served as a part of the 45th Infantry in the National Guard, also known as the Thunderbirds, during World War II. While he served in World War II, he illustrated and documented what he saw on the battlefield using pencil and paper he found in an empty home while on duty. He would hide the sketches he created daily in a small shell casing. Following his time in the service, he went on to formally study art at the Detroit School of Arts and Crafts and the Art Institute of Chicago. Later, he also studied journalism at the University of Tulsa and the University of Chicago. Echo Hawk was best known for his watercolor and oil paintings depicting the American West through landscapes, domestic scenes of Native American life, and battles that had occurred during the time of westward expansion in the mid to late 1800s. His most recognizable work, however, is the flag he designed for the Pawnee Nation, which is still used today. Echo Hawk's The Creek Council Tree shows a large, colorful tree that branches out of the picture plane in a snowy setting. The tree itself features many bright hues of red and yellow to make it stand out from the white background, and the tree appears to be made up of little blobs of paint from the brush, which reminds me of some of Claude Monet's paintings. The impressionistic appearance of this piece is quite different from some of his more well-known illustrations of the American West. The oak tree in the painting still stands in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and is the marker set by the Lochapoca clan of the Creek people in 1836. The Creek were one of the many groups of Native Americans who were forced by the United States government in the early to mid-1800s to relocate to reservations in Oklahoma. The journey was a difficult one that was traveled by foot, and many perished on the journey, which is known as the Trail of Tears. This oak tree became the marker for the new site where the Creek would settle in their new home, and this area would later become modern-day Tulsa. The tree was used as a site for ceremonies and other important events, making it a popular historical site for many Native American people as well as native Oklahomans, which preserves the tribe's presence in Oklahoma. Echo Hawk's work is on display all across the nation, such as at the Pearson Gallery in Tulsa, the Truman Memorial Library in Independence, Missouri, as well as here at the OSU Museum of Art as a part of our permanent collection. Echo Hawk is one of the nation's most well-known Native American veteran artists, as well as a native of Oklahoma. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to check out our social media, especially our Facebook page for more daily art videos and activities. You can learn more about our collections, exhibitions, and programming by visiting our website at www.museum.okstate.edu. See you next time.